Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid Journey version 5 tutorial. In this one, going to show you how to create amazing fantasy art and fantasy illustrations, book illustrations, etc, etc. We're going to use Mid Journey version 5 and we're also going to use uh, chat GPT and it's going to take only a couple minutes to get this right. And it's only one prompt actually. So here we go. Here's just a few examples of some great art that I created in Mid Journey version 5. And as I scroll th through it here, you're going to see some dark elf action. You're going to see some Loth and the Spider Queen and some Underdark, some wizards doing wizard things, having battles, fighting, etc, etc, dragons, you know, fantasy art. Well, how the heck did I do this? Let me show you. It's going to take just a few seconds. Uh, also, before I go any further, I want to give a shout out to Paul Del Senor. Uh, he wrote a medium.com article and a lot of the ideas for this came from there. So I don't want to take credit for someone else's work. All right, with that out of the way, let's go. First step, you want to go to chat GPT. I'll put a link in the description below. What we're going to do is we're going to create this formula here. And this is basically a formula for a specific type of prompt for Midjourney. In a nutshell, it's a formula for creating a fantasy, fantasy style Midjourney prompt. And it involves an illustration in a particular style. And these are all kind of left as variables. So it can be either filled in by yourself or it can be filled in by ChatGPT somewhat randomly. And it says, depicting a ma majestic subject engaged in an action scene with a fantasy background and a specific viewpoint. And then of course, we'll set the aspect ratio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste this here and let's start a new chat. So we can just go ahead and start from scratch. So this is what you would do. So first step, copy and paste that in here. Do you note that at the, Keep in mind that at the bottom, I say, do you understand? I'm basically asking ChatGPT to acknowledge that this prompt works and it makes sense to it. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and watch. Yes, I understand, I understand the formula and here's what it consists of. Fantasy art style, majestic adjective, subject, action scene, fantasy background, fantasy artist style, perspective, aspect, ratio. Beautiful. So it understands it. Now, this is the critical part. Write, and this is what you could write. Write me a prompt for a, I don't know, let's go with a dragon fighting a wizard. Enter. You can be as specific as you want with this. You can just type in dragon and it will fill in all the prompts. You can type in, you know, dragon fighting a wizard in, you know, in the wastelands with a cyberpunk. Like you can go over the top or you can go very, very um, basic. It's up to you. But here's a prompt that it gave us. Okay, it's a vibrant, colorful illustration of a fierce and majestic dragon locked in a deadly battle with a powerful wizard. Heck yeah, okay, let's do this. So I'm gonna copy it. And now we're going into mid journey. And now let's get to work. So in mid journey, what you want to do is you want to go forward slash imagine and this is it copy and paste this in now before i hit enter actually the aspect ratio uh we're going to delete that line because in order to change aspect ratio you just want to go dash dash a r and then the aspect ratio ones so i'm going to go 69 so that was a that was an oversight it didn't quite get that right but there you go dash dash a r 69 so here we go a vibrant colorful illustration of a fierce and majestic dragon but before I hit enter, if I want to change any of this, I can just go in and type. If I don't want to use that uh, fantasy artist and I wanted to use someone else, I can go in and type it. And if you look above here, you're going to see here that I've got different styles. I've got different adjectives. I've got different types of scenes. I've got a list of like 30 or so different fantasy artists. So if I wanted Richard Anderson instead of that other guy, I just want to make sure that this is very clear. I could just delete Frank Frazetta and I would put in Richard Anderson, for example. Anyways, hit enter and it's going to run it. I'm going to come back when it's done. All right, everybody. So welcome back. So it has gone ahead and processed this and let's click on them. And well, I can tell you right now, this is fantastic. I really, really like these shots. I mean, they're all good. The bottom right one here is great. This one is good. Yeah, the first three out of the four are shots that I could use. So if I wanted to use this bottom fourth one, I would just click on U4. If I want to use the top left one, because I like the coloring, I would just click on U1. And of course, if you're new to Midjourney, you're not sure what the V means, this is variations. So I can go ahead and click on this, and then I can change out any part here. So this is the remix prompt. 
So if I wanted it to be um, not by in the style of Richard Anderson, but Neil Adams, for example, I could just go ahead and type that in and presto, off it goes. It will remix it for me. Also, when we go back to chat GPT here, I just said, hey, write another one, please. I added in please because I'm Canadian. And here we go. We got another prompt. And this one is about a cunning rogue sneaking through a treacherous dungeon. Awesome stuff filled with traps and monsters. I mean, real Dungeons and Dragons type stuff. And presto, it's done its thing. I could just copy that, paste it in here. And finally, if I want to keep one of these images, I just right click on it and I go to save image. And that's it. That's how you create amazing fantasy art front to back with chat GPT and mid journey version five. If I missed any steps, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I will get back to you and help you out. Thanks for watching.